Hi everyone, this is Fernando from Abyssal Brews and I'm going to walk you through illustrating the Kraken. I'm going to do something a bit different in this video and spend more time on the concept sketches than the painting process. The Kraken is our first item that doesn't take itself too seriously. I personally love injecting humor in my games, so I was very happy when Matt came up with this one. My first idea was to have a regular can with an impossibly large amount of gigantic tentacles coming out of it, very reminiscent of something you would see in a cartoon. I also wanted the top of the can to sort of look like a Pokeball, because this is kind of a portable monster. Unfortunately, that idea got completely scrapped, but I sure tried to make it fit. The one with the tentacles coming out of the can like a houseplant is my favorite. I really like the shape of it, but I also think I subconsciously lifted that from Finding Dory. I think Hank disguises himself as a plant at one point in the movie. I also explored a sardine can and a more typical commercial can. Like there's a supermarket somewhere with an aisle where they keep canned monsters next to beans and dry meats. I tried one where the can was tied up in a lot of belts to keep the thing inside sealed for good, but I thought it looked kind of boring. Now this was by far the worst of them. It ended up looking like a mix between a bell pepper and a baby rattle. Let's move on! Here we finally arrive at the final concept. As bad as the baby rattle was, it also broke me out of the idea to make it look like a supermarket can. This is an epic fantasy item after all. It should look remarkable and ancient, eldritch and mysterious. The note will take care of bringing the humor. Even though this is meant to be a funny item, it's also a genuinely effective and powerful one. I think the final look we settled on is great, because without the note, it looks like an ancient relic which illustrates the power of what the item does when used in combat, and the funny note illustrates that it's meant to also be a fun item. Matt came up with the note idea when we were talking back and forth about what it should look like, and as you can see from all these drawings, it's the one element that we wanted to keep from the beginning. I like to do a bit of research for every illustration, so I went on Pinterest and looked up interesting containers, bottles, cans, etc. I saw some really cool looking antique milk containers that inspired the lid, as well as some old timey bottles and jars that inspired the overall look. I know I keep giving Pinterest shoutouts in these videos, and I want to make clear that we're not sponsored by them. It's just generally a good tool for visual research and inspiration images. I definitely wanted to have a crack and tentacle visible inside the can, but not too obvious, and I really wanted the water to be dark with a green tint like an aquarium that hasn't been cleaned in a while. So yes, in addition to how dangerous the Kraken and its tentacles are, the water that comes out of this thing is also super gross. I worked on the handwriting for a little while. I tried just writing it in a straight line and then distorting it into the note, but it didn't look as organic as just writing it by hand. So I wrote it on top of the one that was distorted, and that gave it a more genuine handwritten look. Matt and I both had the idea simultaneously to make the can bronze with a lot of patina to give it a very old abandoned look. This is not an item that is cleaned often, so the bronze has oxidized over the years. And that's it! We've arrived at the end of another video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, I encourage you to check out the other videos we have on our channel. Don't be shy to leave a comment or contact us through the website or social. Like, subscribe, yada yada. I do want to encourage you to follow us on Twitter. Matt is very active on there and he's constantly interacting with the TTRPG community, posting some of our works in progress as well as some great resources for your games like his hobby DM blogs. I usually end by being indifferent on whether you subscribe or not because I just want you to be happy, but I think you'll definitely be happy if you do follow us on Twitter.